Hey guys, what's up? Jed here. Welcome to another video. I hope you're all having a great day. In today's video, we're going to be factorizing into single brackets. So let's take a look at our first example. Here we have 2x minus 4, and we want to factorize the following in its simplest form. So what does it mean to factorize? To factorize is to break values down into their factors. We'll take the leftmost term and take the number part of it and ask yourself, okay, what can I divide 2 by to get a whole number? Well, any number can be divided by 1, so I'm not going to include that in any of my divisions. However, I can divide 2 by 2 to get 1. So I know 2 is divisible by 2, and that's pretty much it. Let's take a look at x. What can I divide x by? Well, just x. Nothing else. Okay, let's take a look at the 4. What can I divide 4 by? Well, I can divide 4 by 2. I can divide it by itself 4. And that's it. And there are no variables next to 4, so I don't need to worry about dividing variables. So once you have done all of this, or once you have thought about this, because you don't always have to show you're working out in this way, for simple problems like this, you will get full marks for just factorizing straight away. So how this is done, you take the highest common factor for numbers and the highest common factor for variables. Since we don't have a common factor for variables, we can't take anything out. However, the highest common factor for numbers is 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write 2 outside the bracket like this. And then you go back to your original expression and divide. 2 divided by 2 is 1. x, there is no variables to divide it by, so I'm just going to write it down as x. And then we have a minus symbol. And I haven't really written down the 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1 because I thought ahead and knew that there was going to be an x here. So we know in algebra, there's no need to write 1x. You can just write x on its own. So now we do 4 divided by 2, which is 2. And that's it. If you try to expand this bracket, you will get back up to the original expression. So 2 multiplied by x is 2x. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. And this is factorized in its simplest form. Okay, let's take a look at this example. 12x squared minus 4x. So I'm going to see what the factors are of 12x squared. I will do the numbers separately to the variable. What numbers can I divide into 12? Well, I can divide 12 by 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And how about x squared? I can divide x squared by x, or I can divide it by x squared. Let's do 4x now. What can I divide into 4? Well, it can be 2 or 4. And how about the x next to it? just x. So if we see the highest common factor in the numbers, it's going to be 4. 4 is the highest common factor in the numbers, and this is the number you take outside of the bracket. But now we can have some highest common factors that are variables, so we can also take them out. The highest common factor that I can divide by is just x. It is a factor of both of these terms, and it's the highest one. So I can take that outside of the bracket and now do a single bracket. So let's go ahead with the division. 12 divided by 4 is 3. x squared divided by x is just x minus... Well, actually, if you look at it, you're doing 4x divided by 4x. Anything divided by itself gives you 1. And there you have it. That's how you'd factorize that problem. Over time, you should see straight away, especially if you're proficient with factors, that Okay, there's a 12 and a 4 here, so I know the highest common factor I can take out from them is 4, if you're very familiar with your times tables and you're confident with it. And of course, for algebra, if you have a variable present in both terms, you can take out the variable with the lowest power. That's going to be your highest common factor. So I have an x to the power of 2 and an x to the power of 1. x to the power of 1 is going to be your highest common factor in both. Okay, for our final example, let's take a look at this expression here. So, like I said, proficient with factors, proficient with your times tables, and you're confident with them, you can see straight away that for the numbers, the highest common factor is going to be 6. I can divide 6 by 6 to get 1. I can divide 24 by 6. 24 is in the 6 times tables, and this is just something I noticed straight away. But if it's something that you didn't notice straight away, you can go through the method and break it up into its factors. So for 6, I know that I can divide it by 2, 3, and itself 6. For 24, I know I can divide it by 2, 3, 4, 
six, eight. And to be honest, like you know that the highest factor in the left term is six. So there's no need for you to really go past six for the right term because you're only really looking for the highest common factor, which is six in this case. So this is the value that goes outside the bracket. And now we'll do it for the x values. For the left term, I know the highest value I can divide x to the five by is from x all the way up until x to the power of five. So this includes x to the power of two, x to the power of three, x to the power of four. And for the right hand term, I can divide it from x all the way up until x to the power of three. And if you remember what I said, the highest common factor in these two terms is the variable with the lowest power. So x to the power of three will be the highest common factor you can take out from both terms. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write that here. And finally, for the y's, well, it's y to the power of four in both terms. So I can just go ahead and take that out directly since it is the highest common factor in both terms. Now I construct my brackets and I can go ahead and divide. Six divided by six is one. Don't write it straight away just in case there's a variable next to it. X to the power of five divided by X to the power of three. So we subtract the powers five minus three, it's X to the power of two. Y to the power of four divided by Y to the power of four is one. Anything divided by itself is one. So I don't need to write that next to the X squared. So I have times one at the front and times one at the back. You don't need to write them. And now let's go ahead for the right hand term. 24 divided by six is four x to the power of three divided by itself is one. So it's four times one. I'm gonna hold off on writing the times one. y to the power of four divided by y to the power of four is one. So it's four times one times one, which is just four. So I think I constructed my bracket a bit too wide. I'm just gonna bring it in like that. And there you have it. This expression here has been factorized in its simplest form. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've learned something from this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you and take care.